Hello, dear pupils. Welcome to our TV classroom. My name is Tanya Radošević, and I'm going to be your English teacher today. And my dear friend and fellow colleague, Maria Davidović, is going to help me with this. Hello, guys. How are you? Welcome to our TV English classroom. Also, today, it is important for you to know that you do not need to bring your notebooks, to open your notebooks, to write anything down, to have your pens. No, you listen. Dakle, na današnjem času ne morate da donesete vaše sveske, da zapisujete, važno je da slušate. Svi materijali koje budemo prezentovali na ovim časovima već su postavljeni na naš YouTube kanal. O tome ćemo malo kasnije. Imat ćete sve informacije i kako da dođete do linka. Today we're going to talk about my last week, your last week, our last week, and everything that changed. So, hello, my name is Greg, and I'm 13. This here is my best friend, Annie. <laughs> hello, guys. We are ready to help you with your English. Are you ready? I know you are. Of course they are. So, hello, Greg. Hello. Can you please tell me more about your week, your last week? Mm -hmm. And what did you do? Did you change any of your habits? Were you bored at home? Bored? Ti bilo dosadno kod kući. And are your days what they used to be or not? Used to be. Used to be. Kakve su bili? Kako je bilo nešto što je uobičajno se dešavalo ranije? Inače kako je bilo. Inače kako je bilo. Ok. Well, hello. My dad was working from home while I was watching my lessons on TV. My mom did not come home yesterday because she's a doctor, you know. I helped my dad prepare pizza for breakfast. He doesn't cook usually, so. I washed my hands before and after the short walk we had, really carefully. We even had masks outside. I was not bored at home, nije mi bilo dosadno. I played video games after the classes. I talked to my mom every day. So hello, Annie. Hello. How did you understand the new rules? Mm -hmm. How were your days different from your days in February, for example? Mm -hmm. Did you miss anything? Mm -hmm. Anyone? Were you working on something new? Mm -hmm. Okay, hello. Well, I took it all very seriously. Yes, yes, mm -hmm. I did. Still am. I was washing my hands all the time and I was cleaning all the shoes when we entered the house, you know, from outside. Yes. We did not go to school and we didn't play outside. But distance learning was fun. You know distance learning? Distance learning. To je ono što se upravo dešava. Homeschooling? Not really. No. No, not really. Distance learning je ono što se sada dešava, to je učenje na da. No. True. So I did miss. I missed my friends a lot, mm -hmm. especially Greg. You know, Greg is my best friend. Of course. And we had so much fun in school, you know, before all this. And yes, I'm working. I'm proud to say I'm working. If you thought I was working on my school project, no, I'm working on my YouTube channel. You so know? last week you were working. Yes, I your... were working oh. on my. Last okay. week, I, were, were, I was working, yes. yes. Not I were working, I was working. Not you were working. No, you. never. Oh, okay. So, Greg, please tell us, when do we say, I was working on my YouTube channel? We say that when we want to say that some longer action was happening in the past. You mean longer? Radnja duža, koja je trajala, longer, right? Longer, trajalo. Okay, trajalo. Ne treba da kažemo prošlost, jer ako kažemo trajalo, podrazumeva se da je u prošlosti. Lo, trajalo, trajalo, trajala. Ok. And why did you say that your dad was working from home while 
you were watching your TV lessons. Because these two actions, when my dad was working and when I was watching TV, happened at the same time and they lasted. So they happened and lasted for the same time. So, same time? Same time. Dakle, trajale su isto vreme no. Yes, and they lasted, trajale su. Naprimjer, sada, dok mi ovdje govorimo, mm -hmm. snimatelj snima. Prošlog puta, dok smo mi govorile, snimatelj je snimao u isto vreme. Aha, znači on radi jednu stvar, a mi radimo drugu stvar. Ali on, se dešava isto vremeno. Jest. Znači on je snimao, mi smo pričali. I zahvaljujući tome će sutra u smaci gledati svoj prvi TV čas engleskog jezika. Sjajno. So, what is the rule here? The rule is so simple. It looks like this picture below. Here. Yes. See the picture. You have these two red lines. These two red lines are two parallel actions. Parallel. Like in, like in mathematics. Parallel, yes. you know. Parallel ne radnje. But here, time parallel. Mm -hmm. Vremenski parallel ne. And they have was, for I, he, she, it, or were, for you, we, they, and the main verb plus ing. Yes. Main verb. Glavni glagol. Glavni glagol, onaj koji nosi značenje. Yes. Was, were. Okay, the fancy term for was and were is auxiliary verb to be, but let's make it simple. Simple. Helping verb, znači glagol koji vam pomaže, pomoćni glagol. If you say I was, svako će vas pripreti, you were what? You need to say I was watching my TV lessons last week. Znači, nema značenja bez ovog koji je glavni i koji nosi značenje. I was... Ne znači mnogo, ali ako kažete I was watching, onda se zna šta ste radili. Znalo bi se šta ste radili ako kažete I watching my TV license last Tako week. Razumeli bi vas. Not such a big deal. But let's try use this time. You have to be at home and try to learn how to say it correctly. Znači, yes. kajde da iskoristimo ovo vreme da uvežbamo kako se pravilno priča, odnosno govori engleski jezik. Tako je. It's not like you have something better to do. I'm serious now. Ok? Example. So, I was cleaning while he was watching TV lessons. Easy, right? Just look at the picture again. It's simple. I was cleaning is one thing and he was watching and happened at the same time. So, these two actions, ove dve radnje, were happening at the same time. The simplest word to say that, together. They were happening together. together. Yes. True. Oh. Mm. Yep. Ask me. <laughs> no. That is how we describe the atmosphere, Annie, isn't it? Yes, it is. I love the, uh, describing the atmosphere. Mm -hmm. You know, in English, um, we, you don't have uh, what we call in Serbian svršeni, nesvršeni glagoli. Mm -hmm. To ne postoji. Nego koriste nešto što se zovu tenses. Yes. Da bi objasnili, opisali nekakvu, dali priču, priči nekakvu atmosferu. Mm -hmm. So, for example, this is true life example. This is my classroom example. Like from three weeks ago. Znači, ovo je primjer iz stvarnog života od, recimo, pre tri nedelje. When I walked into the classroom, several students were busily writing homework. Mm -hmm. Mia was talking on the phone. Of course. Of course she was. She was. I was waiting for the school bell to ring and some students were not doing anything special. So... When you say all this, you just have that picture in your mind yes. and you know what happened in that class. It's like a film. Yes. So that's the atmosphere that was going on. What was your feeling? You're saying what happened in there. Uh, what can was you happening. stay here for a bit? Yes, of course. Okay, now I'll say it. Well, it's not grammatically wrong, the way I will say it now. But let them just hear how it sounds. Uh -huh. 
When I walk into the classroom, several students busily wrote homework, Mia talked on the phone, I waited for the school bell to ring, and some students did not do anything special. Oh. No. It hurts my ear. Yes. So this is what we use to, to explain, to describe, to persuade the ubedim o neku kao nešto. Ah. Mm -hmm. Like mom and dad, for example. Did anyone stop you guys? My sister, my little sister. I was uploading. I was uploading wow. my video on YouTube when she accidentally turned off the internet. <laughs> I mean, I know it's a state of emergency, vanredno stanje, but really. Really? Internet? Really. Yes. Wow, we need internet. Yes. And my mom stopped me from doing something else. She interrupted me. I was listening to my class on TV mm -hmm. when she called me from work. But I was so happy she did because she's a doctor and she lives in hospital now. Oh. So, Greg, what is the rule for stopping, you know, interrupting, prekidanje radnje mm -hmm. u You said your mom stopped you from watching TV, right? Yes, but I was so happy. I was happy she did. So, when longer action is going on, this is this red curve. It lasts, for example, I was listening to my class. We use was or were, I was, he was, she was, it was, and for everything else you say, were, plus you add verb ending in ing, like I was working, I was watching my TV classes, she was watching her TV classes, we were watching our TV classes, so I was listening to my class, it lasted for a certain period of time. And the phone call stopped me. This stop is this blue cross. So that action of me listening to my class was stopped when the phone rang and my mom called. Like when, while I was uploading my YouTube video, yes. my sister turned off the internet. She stopped the internet. She yes. stopped you. Yes. Mm -hmm. So my sister is the Blue Cross. She is the Blue Cross. Okay. My sister is the Blue Cross. Okay. And there's another example. When the phone rang, so phone here, I was listening to my class. So you don't have to say it. Just as one way, you can say it vice versa as well. Dakle, može i obrnut. Tako. I was listening to my class when the phone rang. Ili? Naravno, sad malo pravo pisa, ne znam da to sad nije najvažnije u ovom trenutku, ali ukoliko obrnete reč, ovih zavisnih rečenic, to je glavne i zavisne, onda nema zareza. I was Tako. listening to my class when the phone rang. Exactly. That's it. Thank you. You're welcome. This was great. Mm -hmm. Oh, Greg, this was not so easy. Or should I say, wasn't? Huh. Well, you can say both, but if you are writing a formal letter or an email, for example, you should write was not and were not as two separate words. Okay, let me check here. So, hmm. if I'm writing to, if I write to my friends, yes, I can write wasn't, weren't, yes, or to your family, or to, I don't know, my neighbors, or, or anywhere in your chat room, or on okay. Viber, or but WhatsApp group. if I write to my, let's say, music teacher, yes, so then I should say, I was not doing my homework <laughs> because I was busy uploading my YouTube video, right? Yeah. Okay. She will be so happy to hear that. Okay, I will send her a link, so, <laughs> the link, so. Okay. And what about questions? Well, you can ask questions like, were you working? Or maybe, weren't you working? It depends on what you want to know. 
Dakle, da li si radila? Nisi li radila? Nisi li radila. Ok. Aha. And what is the answer then? Well, that is easy. You say, yes, I was, or no, I wasn't. Ok, ask me a question. Ask me a question. Were you uploading your YouTube video yesterday? Actually, I was. Huh. Yes, I was. And were you busy yesterday? Yes, I was. Okay. Uh, were you happy yesterday? <laughs> Tough question. Mm. I was trying to be happy yesterday. Good. And was it hard to watch TV lessons yesterday? No, it wasn't. Mm. No, no, it wasn't at all. Yeah. And is there anything else we should know? Well, do you remember we talked about this, this word when, right? What about it now? <laughs> well, when you want to say that some action started and more importantly, action finished at specific time, so time that we know about in the past, you say, for example, I watched biology class yesterday. Yesterday is gone, it's finished. Did, do you know when? Yesterday. When? Yesterday. Is it okay. done? Done. I didn't watch a biology class yesterday. We know it's yesterday and yesterday is past. So again, it's finished and it's finished in the past. Look at this graph. So when so is important? It's before present and it is finished. And when? When? When is important. Okay. To say when? No, to explain when. For example, mm -hmm. last year I traveled to Spain. When? Last year. True, thank you. Last year I didn't travel to Spain. Again, we know when. Last year. But is I wanted it to. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. She uploaded her video. But I already told you when, so. Yes. I don't have to say it again. No. Okay, because we know when. We know when. Okay. And we know it's finished. She didn't upload her video. So everything is explained in this picture, this graph below. So it happened, it's finished, and it's before present, which means it is past. That's my little sister again. Your little sister again. Yes. Okay. Understand? Completely. Wow, so easy. Yes. I know about something else. If we talk about things, actions that happened in the past, one after another, like mm -hmm. the first, second, third, like I came home, I washed my hands. First? Yes, then I took off my shoes and cleaned them properly. True. Then I washed my hands again. Then I took off all my clothes, etc., etc. Itako dalje. We use my little sister. <laughs> so? I mean, we use the blue cross. Blue cross. Uh, yes, blue, blue cross ways, way of saying things. So we use uh, past simple tense. I wanted to say simple way, but okay. it's okay. So I finished homework, made my YouTube video, went out for a walk and came back. Or he arrived from work at four, had a shower at half past four and had lunch at five. So first at four he arrived, so let's say number one. Yes. And then he had a shower, which yes. is, for example, cross number two. Yes. And then, because that was half an hour later. And then at five he had lunch, which is number three, right? So one thing happened one after another. Mm -hmm. Dakle, okay. kada radnjama koja su se desile jedna za drugom, nije bitno da li jedna za drugom, zaista jedna za drugom doslovno ili su prosto u tokom nekog vremenskog perioda sledile jedna za drugom, kažemo na ovaj jednostavan način, kako ti črtanja već pomenu, simple, pa simple tense, a but let's move on. Let's move on, yes. But, did you know about this? Duration. Please explain. 
Duration means that something lasted, dakle, trajanje nečega. Ako nešto traje u određenom periodu, dakle, to je nešto što se nije samo na trenutak dogodilo, kao što, recimo, telefon je zazvonio, nego ja sam slušao i pratio moju nastavu preko televizije. A onda je telefon zazvonio. Dakle, ovo je nešto što je trajalo duže. Usually, we use expressions. Expressions su izrazi, termini, kao što su, such as, for two years, znači nešto je trajalo čak dve godine. A ne kaže se za dve godine? Ne, trajalo je dve godine. For five minutes, trajalo je pet minuta. A nije za pet minuta? Ne, nikako. A kako se kaže za pet minuta? In five minutes. Oh, yes, sorry, I forgot. Everybody makes that mistake. All day or all year. For example, I lived in Colombia for two years. Jenny studied Japanese for five years. They sat at home all day, all day long. We talked on the phone for 30 minutes. We usually do that. Yes. Okay. How long did you wait for them? We waited for one hour. So, it's just an action and it lasted for a certain period of time. This is not a slide. Ovo nije tobogan. This ne, is an nije. action. Koja je trajala, ok? Nije tobogan. So, for questions we use did. Yes. And what is this tense called again? I know you know. The past simple tense. Prošlo, True. prosto vreme. Obožavam reč prosto. Jednostavno prosto. je. Jednostavno je. Mm -hmm. It really is. Really simple. Uh, but do you know how is that, uh, that, that tense we were talking about called? We were talking about? Yes. Yes, I know. It's called past, the past continuous tense. Well done, Greg. Uh, oh, you, you. you think much better when you are learning at home. But okay, so, but also what's important, this tense is also called the past Progressive tense. Progressive? Progressive. Yes, because progress, in progress, radnja traje. Ah. Progressivna je, napreduje, ah. traje. Okay? Thank you. You really explain it well. So, let us revise these two tenses we have learned about today. Annie, you know things. She can help us with that again. Yes, so I do know things. Please do help us with this. These simple formulas. Okay, just pay attention. The past simple tense, prošlo prosto vreme. Regular, irregular verbs. Pravilni, nepravilni glagoli. To je ono što ne volimo. Ne volimo. Zašto ne volimo? Zato što mora da se uči na pamet. Jeste ovi nepravilni, je li tako? Ali šta volimo? Volimo što je u potvrdnom obliku, pozitiv, isti oblik za sva lica. Za sva. Jeste. Tako da i kad naučiš taj nepravilni glagol, odnosno oblik glagola za pa simple tense, ukoliko je nepravilan, lepo možeš da ga koristiš za sva lica. Za sva lica. Jasno. Možda razmišljaš ili treće ili prvo, koje... Tako je. Svuda stavimo isto. Dakle, pravilni glagoli, glagol u infinitivu, znate, to je onaj osnovni oblik, ono najosnovnije, ono kad ukucate reč pa vam se u rečniku pojavi. Kako oni to zovu još? Prva, prva kolona. Druga kolona. A nije to osnovni oblik glagola u prvoj koloni. Da, da. A u drugoj? A u drugoj je ovaj pa simple, ali tako? Aha, dobro. Dakle, druga kolona učite, prva kolona je ono što vam objašnjava što učite. Nemoj me izbudnjivati sad. Dakle, pravilni glagol, na glagol se doda i di. Tako je. Što se tiče promjene u spellingu, znam da ih znate, ok, ali pozabavit ćemo se njima nekog od narednih puta. Nepravilne naučiti za sva lica isto. Međutim, ono što baš, baš volimo jeste da je question form, negative form, isti za sva lica. Isti. Jeste. Ide formula. Did plus subject plus main verb in the infinitive or did plus not plus main subject in the infinitive. Dakle, did 
Šta je beše did? Pa du. A šta je beše du? Pa ono što nam pomaže da napravimo pitanje. A little helping verb. Helping, yes. A why is here did? Zašto je ovde did? Pa zato što već moramo da naglasimo da je to prošlost. A, pa da, da bismo odmah znali kad postavimo pitanje. A zato ne mogu da kažem did you watch TV yesterday? Pa zato što je engleski jezik koji nije toliko komplikovan, on je ekonomičan. Dakle, kad jednom stavite informaciju da je to prošlo vreme, ne treba vam ponovo. Znači, did you call, a ne did you called. I onda dva puta dajte informaciju da je to prošlo vreme. Nema potrebe. Simple. Simple. Moja umiljena reč. English is simple, but really it is. Ok. Dakle, for example, I called my friend. That's a positive sentence. Potvrdna rečenica, potvrdni oblik. Regular verb, pravilan glagol. Did you call your friend? Da li si zvao svog prijatelja? Upitna rečenica, question form. I didn't call my friend. Nisam zvao svog prijatelja. Odrična rečenica, negative form. Irregular verb, nepravilan glagol. Pozitiv. I often went to the cinema. Question, did you often go to the cinema? And negative, I didn't often go to the cinema. But please tell me, went is which verb? Went. What's the first column? First column is go. Prva kolona je go. Okay, so let's switch to past continuous. Okay, we already talked about this. Was, were, that's the auxiliary verb to be past simple. Dakle, pomoć, a little helping verb to be past simple. On nam govori o kom trajnom vremenu se radi. Main verb plus ing. For example, like you were studying when she called. Yes. Were you studying when she called? That's a question form. And you were not studying when she called. That's a negative form. Okay. Here also we have examples for the past simple. Imamo primere. Dakle, radnja je trajala, continuous tense ili da kažem progressive tense. Jeste. A radnja koja je se desila ili je prekidnula, zaustavila ili je nije zaustavila, ali jeste se desila za vreme trajanja prve, je radnja izražena past simple tense. Baš tako. So, let's just practice a little. I'd like you to help me, please. So, we're going to practice about simple past first. And first verb we're going to talk about is go. So, he, then blank space, a gap, to a club last night. What would you say? He went to a club last night because go is a regular verb. Go je nepravilan glagol, potrebno mi je oblik za past simple, popularna druga kolona, dakle i malo čas smo ga imali. He went to a club last night. Išao je u klub sinoć. True. Kad postavljamo pitanje šta je ono što nam treba za pitanje, čega treba se setimo? Did. Did. Aha. Znači, he to the cinema last night. So, did he... A, kaže. Did he go to the cinema last night? Bravo. Zašto nije did he went? Zato što je did već znak da smo u prošlosti i nema potrebe da govori went, jer bi onda to na srpskom zvučalo ovako. Da li je on išao, išao? Da li je on išao, išao? Pa naravno da nećemo tako reći. Jeste. Kep? He, negative. Nije to bed early last night. He did... Didn't or did not go to bed early last night because we are friends. Of course. And these little guys in front of TV are our pupils. I will say he didn't go to bed early last night. Okay? Now give. Yes. Okay. So, first sentence is positive, je potvrdna, druga je odrična i treća je upitna. Je li tako? Okay. Tanja, please do the exercise. We give... Aha, a ne može give. Mora druga kolona. Ne može give. Ne može give. Nikako. Znači, gave. We gave her a doll for her birthday. That's right. Thank you. So, another one is negative. Odrična, tako je. Dakle, nismo Johnu dali njihovu novu adresu, oni nisu dali Johnu svoju novu adresu. They, znači, mora didn't, je li tako? Aha, a ovo je bilo give, gave, they didn't gave. Ne? Šta, oni nisu dali, dali? Ah, izvim. Aha. Oni nisu dali, dakle, they didn't give. Pitanje ovo već sad znamo. Znači, mora se stavi did. Did Barry? Give. Give you my passport. Tako je. Da li je Barry dao 
moj pasoš. Ok, we leave these two exercises for them to work out on their own. Do you agree? I agree. This is your homework, guys. All this, not just this. All this. All this. All the four exercises. Another one. Ok. This is past continuous now. You mean in progress? Something was in progress. In progress. Lasting. Two lines, two red parallel lines. Parallel lines. Ok. Or there something was repeating, nešto se ponavljalo. Ili je nešto trajalo, pa je to nešto prekinulo. Ok. Please do the exercise. So, wait. And they, for the bus, when the accident happened, znači čekali su autobus kad se nešto prekinulo u njihovom čekanju. Znači oni su bili na stanici, čekali autobus. Čekali, čekali. Čekali. Dakle, they were waiting for the bus when the accident happened. Caroline, when she broke her leg, a, bila je na skijanju kad je slomila nogu. Šteta. Dešava se. Caroline was skiing when she broke her leg. Poor Caroline. Poor, yeah. When we arrive, he have a bath. Hmm, ovde je nešto prekinulo, nešto drugo. Znači, he was having a bath, a šta ga je prekinulo? We arrived. We arrived. So when we arrived, he was having a bath. We said we were hungry. Yes. Yes. When the fire, when the fire started. Not started. Started. Okay. I. Oh, should I? No. Was watching television. Were watching television. What do you say? I. I. I was. I was watching television. Thank you. Yes. You were watching television. Yes. Can I do the next one? Yes, please. Okay. The sun shone and the birds sang and the elephant came stop, out stop, of the stop, jungle. Stop, stop, the stop, other animal. Stop, 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 stop. Why? What's wrong? My ears. It hurts my ears. The sun shone. Uh -huh. But you have two gaps. Look here. Oh, really? Gap, two gaps. Yeah. Ah, so the sun was shining. Yes, the sun was shining. And the birds shining. were singing. Atmosphere. And the elephant was coming. Um, uh -huh. Not really. So. Sunce je sjelo, ptice su pevale, dok je, ili kad je slon došao iz džungla. Tako, ako je nešto trajalo, dešavalo se, I need to say was plus were plus ing. Exactly. Ako se nešto desilo, happen, I just say pa simple, right? True. Ok, so guys, this is also what you will do for your homework. Ok. Then you can take out your notebooks and copy it in your notebooks or you can type it and send it to your English teachers, whatever is easier for you. Yes. Right? Just do it. So, Annie, what was this lesson about? I know, I know. I know you know. It was about past tenses and when to use them. For past actions which happened or were happening. It's important, it's really, really important to say or know when they happened or were happening. When? This lesson was also about this new kind of life we are living mm -hmm. now. Yes. Or should I say we have been living, we have lived. Okay, another topic. Another I'll stop topic. now. I'll we'll stop now. We'll talk about that. So what we will learn in our next class? You will revise and learn a bit more about adjectives. What did that happen next time? Next time. Mm, should we revise this next time? We could revise this as well. Okay, we will revise this next time and then we do a bit about adjectives, okay? Okay. Okay. Do not forget to visit our YouTube can channel for practice. So, here is the link. Now, you can get your mobile phones close to your TVs and take a photo of this YouTube link. Goodbye for now. Take care of yourselves. Wash your hands. Stay healthy. Listen to your parents. And, and stay, stay tuned. tuned.